So this demo is to show you how to link your Lotus Notes Domino data to a SharePoint uh, web part known as the data view part. So right now we're looking at a SharePoint site and I'm going to create a web part page uh, to give us a place to put our connection. So here I am and I'm going to say all site content and then I'm going to say create. And then here I'm going to select a web part page <coughs> and then we're going to call this one demo one and we're just going to use a a full page vertical simple web part and we're going to save it to the document library orders so I'm going to hit create so what's happening now is that a page is being created and this page is, will be stored in that web part and now I'm asked, so, well, what web part do you want? So at this point, I'm going to jump over to SharePoint Designer and insert a data view web part. So if I go to SharePoint Designer and I hit refresh and I look at my orders library, I can see I now have this uh, page called Demo1, so I'm going to open that up. And here I have my page and I have my uh, place to put my web parts. Notice it says click here to insert web part. Well, what we're going to add there instead is a data view part. So in SharePoint Designer, I go to data view on the menu and insert a data view. And it now says. Um, if we could read all of that, it would say click a data source in the data source library to show the data. <laughs> well, if I go over to our data source library, there's a section in there called XML files. So at the bottom of that, it says add an XML file. So we're going to do that, and this is our link to our Domino server. So I click on that, and it's asking me for the location of the XML. Well, I'm going to jump over to my XML source, which is my Domino server, which is uh, www.msdomino.net, and then I have a uh, agent inside of my orders NSF database that extracts XML from another database called Products. So I'm going to collect this URL and I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be video. And notice I have the option for login information. I can use my Windows authentication. I can use single sign-on authentication. I can use a uh, username and password set here. So I have lots of options. I'm going to say OK. And now we have a data source called Video1. So this is my URL command to my Domino server that returns XML the way I like it. So I'm now going to uh, select this data source and say Show Data. So the show data cat, uh, dialog, it goes out to my Domino server, and there it found um, my notes data. It found the location, product ID, description, quantity, order level, cost, all that information. So I'm just going to grab that whole thing and drag it onto my data view web part. And I'm essentially done. I now have a view here of all of the uh, the data, and I can do things to that view. So let's take a peek at it first. If I hit preview, I better save first. And there we go. We have this data, and this is live data, meaning that if I change something in Notes and Domino, um, it will show up right here. So if my database uh, adds a new quantity, it will show up here. So this is a way to create a data view web part linked to your Domino database. Try it with your database, or try it with mine. My Domino server is public, so the URLs that I use here will work fine for yours. 
So I hope you use that. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how to then take and link this data to data found inside of SharePoint. Thank you very much.